Old Wounds, Afghanistan, 1968. So we're going back and forth between uh, father and son here, it seems like. I went with the FAL last time. I like the Makarov. So we're going to do reflex sights. Extended clip. Extended clip. I'll stick with flashbang. Okay. Alex Mason. Start level. I can't figure out Menendez without getting inside his fucking head. Salazar, you grew up in Nicaragua during his rise to power. You know his legends better than anyone. Tell me, why does he hate us so much? Primera Guerra Fria. As a boy, he witnessed the country's rape and murder his people. 1972, there was a colossal earthquake. His family lost everything. A year later, the only thing he ever loved, his sister Josefina, was crippled in a fire. Raul and his father started over, sold drugs for easy money. They became rich, powerful legends of Managua. The Menendez cartel was all but untouchable, so the CIA took a Raul's father in a U.S. sanctioned assassination. Right, so now Menendez fucking hated America and started running guns in Afghanistan for his own private army. CIA got wind of it, went on the hunt for him in Kabul. That was the photo Wood showed us in the vault, remember? See that handsome bastard? That's me. The only one's your father. After Nam. The numbers and all that? I mean, he was one dangerous son of a bitch. <laughs> he, I wasn't dangerous back in... The first game? I was pretty dangerous back then. I was thinking I was Reznov. I was wiping out whole facilities thinking I had backup in Reznov and I was by myself. What do you mean? He was dangerous before that. It's showtime, Mason! Why even be up there in the first place? Sea Woods. Sand. Sand and more fucking sand. Hudson's contacts on his way. You reckon we can trust the Chinese? We can't hear. They've been supporting the Mujahideen same as us. They know if Russian was in Afghanistan, they'd be looking at China next. No one likes the Russians, huh? You know me. I don't like anyone. You might want Nobody to can kill you, Woods. Take it easy, Sal. Deliver the weapons. Now, what about your end of the deal? I will take you to the leader of the Mujahideen. He can help you find Raoul Menendez. We have fresh horses. You will follow. Oh, shit. Let's do it. Okay. I'm down. Mason, it's Hudson. Did you make contact with Jiao? We're on our way to the Mujahideen camp now. Oh, there's an access. What is this? Is this supposed to be some ancient sword? What the hell are you gonna do with that? You never know. That is pretty sick. I wish I had that. I'm sure I don't need to remind you that our presence here must remain 100% deniable. There will be serious consequences if Russia learns of our involvement in Afghanistan. Yo, that ain't gonna happen. The Soviets are about to launch an attack on the camp. Mason, get yeah. up up here! Yeah. Got it. What about y'all? I'm going ahead of y'all. You commandeers and tanks? It's pretty sick.
I don't think I was supposed to put this him there, way. but sure. I love the cute little Makarov. It's also a Fallout 4 gun, so it's pretty fun to use. If a Russian attack is indeed imminent, you're gonna need all the help you can get. I've arranged for a couple of specialists to act in an advisory capacity. Here they are now. Ramon, this is Woods, and Mason, my two best men. We need weapons, not soldiers. We are weapons. This should be good. Just so we're clear, we hold off the Russian attack, you give us what you have on Menendez. Our base is here. Any advance will come through one of the narrow passes leading into the valley. I know this. Our men defend these mountains. Our weapons will give them an edge. That's a bullshit plan. You're talking about the Russian army here. They come at you a brute force, which means strength in numbers and heavy armor. Are your men ready for that? No. They have no experience with the weaponry we brought. And we do. We belong on the front line. The Russian assault has begun. Yalla! Yalla, Borobirun! You have faith in your plans, America. You're more than faves out. Let's rock it. Is there any access in here? We must hurry! We cannot Ooh, allow there's them this to one. enter the valley! Settle up, Mason! Oh heck yeah! Can I am I just gonna be throwing mortars? Because if so, yes, please. Thank you. Don't kick me off. This may be tougher than we thought. We got hips dropping infantry right in front of the camp. We ain't got that whole guy thing. Just get to the choke points and hold back their armor. Let's not die before we even get into the area. Yeah. Those are good guys. Got it. I get that. Hey, can I just, uh... Ooh, I can. Let me get into cover here before I die. Oh, that's Zao. Don't shoot him. God dang it. Was that another BTR? Dummy. The Mujahideen can handle infantry. Mason, put a cranny charge under the archway. Let's make the answer. No more vehicles make it through here. Where else they at? That was a headshot. Who else? Or we're supposed to go back. Okay. Go back to the horses. As long as you don't shoot me, we'll be good. Get away. You're too close, Mason. Get over here. I'm further away than you. Blow it, Mason! Hudson, the way choke point is secure. Armor engage 
get through this way. Woods, Basin, they're throwing everything they have at us. We've got threats all over the valley. Hoosier reporting rushing tanks moving in from the north. Rude's force and strength in numbers? You expected such a fight. Doesn't mean I wanted it! Okay, we're trying to destroy stuff here. Nice work. Hit the tanks. There. The tanks are down. Scouts report enemy gunships to the north of the valley. Take them down any way you can. Roger, I'm gonna try, my guy. Dude, I'm about to die here. Holy crap. I am trying here. The gunships are grounded. We have more Russian helos inbound from the north. We're on it, Hudson. Let's ride. The Russians have overrun the Bush ammo cache in the east. Do whatever is necessary to recapture it. Muller Roman is concerned. He thinks we're losing the fight. You tell Ronald for me, I don't give a shit about his concerns. We'll kick fucking ass same as always. Just tell oh, him sorry. to come through with his intel on the dead desk. The ammo cache is left of the valley. The path is impassable by horse. Dismount. We will proceed on foot. I'm about to die again. Freaking cut down this bridge here. I'm not shooting the vehicle, I'm shooting the guys coming out of it, dummy. the heck am I getting shot from? There we go. So I guess I do have to cross the bridge. I'm getting shot by this gunship here. Oh, I'm about to die. Oh my god, don't die, don't die. Jump off the clip. Dude, this sucks. Is there another helicopter or something? Because these guys are doing a lot of damage. You 
old man was one tough son of a bitch. Bet your ass he was. Kravchenko basically carved a hole in his head and he sucked those fucking numbers in there and he survived that. No. <laughs> they just they didn't see those numbers anymore, but I don't know. I'm not so sure about that. Either way, it's freaking tough. Please. This isn't over yet. Oh, that is a big tank. Oh my god. The Russians want to give us one last display of brute force. Let's give them one last display of courage. You with me? We're charging on this freaking tank? This is not a good plan. Get up, push it off. I I love it. I love it. Ain't no way you're pushing that thing off you. Oh, that's a mortar. No, ain't no way Kravchenko's still dead. Or still alive. He better be dead. He better be dead. Yeah, Woods wanted that revenge. He got taken... Oh, yeah, he did get taken capture. Fucking Kravchenko. Involved in all this. Must die. Yeah, I think you see in the numbers. A couple times, I saw the tick. They get that look in his eyes, they're scanning the room. <laughs> Next thing you know, he's talking to the Russian. Fucking Reznov. <laughs> Good old tricky Vic. Woods. Maybe I should handle this interrogation. If you see the fuck out of my way, I get unfinished business with this bastard. I left you to rot in Vietnam, Sergeant Woods. You should be dead. Well, nobody told me. Buddy Raman tells me you're doing business with a Nicaraguan named Raul Menendez. What do you do for him? You believe in an eye for an eye? Huh? This is a Mujahideen, baby. They'll bury you up to your neck, peel your eyelids back, and leave you to fry in the desert. Oh, don't kill him. I'll don't, don't, up. don't do that. We need answers. Tell me about Menendez. I am spamming this. Holy crap. Must nope, die. don't freaking kill him. I'm not killing this dude. We need answers. It's getting tougher each time. Every time you do it. It's going to do it. Yep, there it is. Oh, God. No, did I resist? Oh, I didn't resist. Crap. Dang it. Dude, that is insanely difficult to... The fuck are you doing? Menendez told me you must suffer. You face piece of shit. I could not... Ugh. We have to fight the Russians right on your side. No. No, you are and always will be our true enemy. Dang it. I was fighting to resist killing Kravchenko. Looks like it doesn't really matter anyways. Without water and shelter, you may last a day. 
If you are strong. Dude, I've survived everything. Russian death camps. Is that... What is that? Your father think rides up on a horse to see No, us? not Reznov. Yeah, <laughs> see, it's just like your old man. No, it wasn't him. Reznov. Come on, if you think it was him, don't you think he would have stuck around for a bit, huh? Maybe explain some shit. I mean, he just had his attack just now. Of, um, skip through that. He just had his mental break right there of the numbers making him kill Kravchenko, so. Obviously, it wasn't Tricky Vic, as he said. 